about it. You can come to the clubs because I'm, I'm traveling around. So I hit like four or five locations every day. You know, I'm doing some stuff in Richmond. I'm doing some stuff with senior citizens now. So it's just, you know, if you want to open up the discussion and see, because some of the guys, they need computers and stuff at home. So if people want to donate or whatever, they can do that. Um, part of the thing is that uh, they can work on it, but, you know, with, at, the, at the sites where they're at. But the thing is, is that it's a lot going on. So it's a lot of distractions. So I really want the kids to have, I don't care if it's refurbished computers for $100 so they can take it and work on it at home. I think that's the main thing is to really get them to start asking for the stuff it's too. I, I kind of tell kids, y'all asking for the wrong stuff. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you should be asking for computers, cameras, stuff that's going to give you a better return on your investment instead of asking for clothes and video games and all of that stuff because a PlayStation Xbox costs the same as a laptop. So, you know, and I give them uh, inexpensive options. This is a place called, they kind of know about the Mac of all trades. You can get refurbished Macs that's good quality. They're like a hundred bucks. So, you know, that type of thing. That answer your question? Yeah. Anybody else have a question? All right, so I have some. So, really kind of started off from you mm -hmm. um, being held back. Yes. Yes. For you, and you just didn't want anybody to feel. And so, corporate world wasn't really. You felt like you were incarcerated in the corporate <laughs> world, right? That was. <laughs> yeah. The thing is that um, the lack of mentorship that it, we had even coming up. So the thing is that you know me and Jamel was in college, but it wasn't no guys who graduated that came back to the campus to talk to us and tell us how to navigate through corporate world. We kind of had to learn it on our own. You know, even in college, we had to learn it on our own. The thing is that, um, you know, we was renting the houses. We taking out student loans. We got visas and MasterCards. We killing our credit. We taking credit. We didn't have, like, no guys that was ahead of us that can, like, guide us and navigate us. So that's what I want to come back and do for these dudes. I want to tell them that um, maybe college isn't practical for him. He can crush it now. By the time he graduates and do all of this stuff, it may be too late. He can start it now. Like, I know college students that they graduate, they, they don't have a resume done. They LinkedIn not filled out. So by the time you go through college four years, then get out, trying to look for a job, doing your resume, this guy over here got four years of content. So I let them know, like, the days of moving towards a resume with bullet points, that's over with. They're going to pull up your Instagram and see what you got going on to see that you got videos of what he's going through. I'm designing today. I don't feel like it. I just came up with this idea. I don't want to go off into a tangent, but you know, uh, executives, you just do a little due diligence. He can shoot an email because I'm already telling you, you can shoot an email to Nike like, look, I got some concepts and some ideas for some shoes. I'm 13. They're going to take you serious because who's doing this? I just want them to know that they have this option available to them. You don't have to wait, son. You can make money now. But the problem is, is that the youth think that they got to be grown and make money. Y'all ain't got to wait to make money. Y'all can make money now. You should do the Q&A instead of me up there talking. I'll crush this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so one of the things I thought was really cool is it's not just the technical skills. Right. You're giving them the trust, taking them places giving them exposure, right? So, um, what have you seen, like, from the experience from some of the field trips? Field trips, they, they own it. They, they, they... It's like the body language was what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 they get, they get it. That's why they're here. They, they understand. They inbox me, like, Mr. Collins, where you at? Come up here. Like, I go up there, I'm all off. The, you know, it's just like, I don't do this for work. I do this because I love doing it. So, when they call me, I come. You know, I get on them, I be hard on them, but, you know, some, some of them, some of them, these two right here, they problem is, is that they think they good now, so they kind of lax and think they the pros. And How are you around? <laughs> <laughs> but you're a mentor for somebody else. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they, they got this entitlement, like, they like, y'all can't touch these computers. 
So the other little kids is on some slow PCs. They got the shiny iMacs like these is for the designers right here. So the kids want to be, don't they? They, they want to, and then they teach, they teach and help them too. So, you know, it start with them. Like I want to pass the torch to them because I'm old. So I pass the baton to them and they take off. Like I, I tell him, like LeBron, he still let his coach come to his games and sit front row. So when they make it, I want to make sure that I got these planted these seeds, so I can still, you know, eat. You see, I got uh, Seth Juan and Hatsum. Um, These guys, man, close friends of mine. They 13, 14 photographers, and I put them on my uh, channel and I and I show these guys and I got grown people like. I want to hang out with the 13. Like, I done built this culture around this tribe of this creative stuff, and they want to be a part of this youth.